Eyes for Allah, nothing but Allah. Bah is the beginning of Bismillah. Ta is for taqwa, the wearing of Allah. And tha is for thawab, a reward. Ja is for Jannah, the garden of paradise. Ha is for Hajj, the blessed pilgrimage. Kha is for Khatem, the seal of the prophethood given to the prophet. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for deen, al-Islam, religion with Allah since time began. That is for dhikr, remembering Allah, and rise for the month of Ramadan. The first person we are listening to in this episode is the third position winner from Lagos State, whose business name is Rahmama Company Limited and is into cassava production and processing. The fourth position will also come immediately after his own and this person is into block industry making. He came from Kogi State. His name is Sule Habib Ogrima. These are the third and fourth position winners of our just concluded business plan competition. Please stay with us. Zakat and Sadakat Foundation wants your way to elevate poverty and purify wealth is through regular payment of Zakat. No wonder Zakat and Sadakat Foundation is working day and night to enhance standard of living for all and sundry through economic empowerment, free healthcare delivery, support for widows and orphans, provision of iftar during Ramadan, mosque support. There is also work program through which Zakat and Sadakat Foundation collect donation of land, building, or other property and thereafter invest aid while we use the profit to better the lot of indigent Muslims and the society. Please contact Suit 10, Tafar Balewa Square, East Pavilion, Opposite High Court, Lagos Island. Telephone 081-1819-3599 or 080-3538-2911. Website zakatandsadakat.org.ng Zakat and Sadakat Foundation. Caring, creating socio-economic Balance. Zai is for zakah, to cure our greed, when we give our money to those in need. Zai is for salamun alaykum, peace be with you wa alaykum as salam. Shai is for shams, the shining sun, which Allah placed for everyone. And Zai is for salah, for when we pray facing him. Every day facing him till we meet our Lord. Allah, there's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger. Allah, la ilaha illallah. My name is Abdurazak Abdullah Abdi, Natal Luqman Abdurrahim, my fellow and his uh, Abdurwasi Ayola. Can you introduce yourself and then let's have what you have? Yeah, I am Lajawli Benga Moshud, uh, CEO Rama Moss Fans Limited. That will be located at Ijebu Farm Village in Ogun State. Uh, Rama Mall Company is registered, but the farm is not registered. Yeah. I am a graduate of a Lagos State Polytechnic, Agric Engineering. I also did uh, my postgraduate in agri extension and farm management. I also did a four weeks um, farm business with Lagos State Government, Ministry of Agri. Um, my business idea has to do with um, cassava production and um, processing. And. Um, Why I go into this is simply because of the situation that we find ourselves in the country. Everybody has to eat. And cassava is something that virtually all industries are running after. Starting from the food industries, the pharmaceutical industries, the um, animal feed producers need cassava for what they do. And that's why I'm actually going into it, so that uh, I can also contribute a quarter to the growth of the economy of Nigeria 
and also to create jobs for the jobless in the society and as well be as a, a source of raw materials for the industries I've mentioned above. And um, for me to actually do my production, I have staged it into two phases. That's the production circle. The first phase will be the first two years of my production. And that is where we we'll start with the land preparation, the, the planting. And in this phase, what I plan to do is to sell the fresh cassava and process part of it into Gary for the first phase, which will last for the first two years. And after that, I will now go into other enterprises in the agri production, I mean the cassava too, I mean into fufu production, the high quality cassava flour. Those are the major areas that I really want to go or focus my attention on. And um, in terms of my sales, I'm actually going to sell the processed gari to the market women who are going to resell to the consumers. And I also supply the eateries, the hospitals, schools that have boarding schools, and the fresh cassava. My, I'm actually, since my farm will be based in Ijebu, I will concentrate more in Ogun State. And the cassava processors that I'm going to, that are going to be my potential buyers, are actually going to be located majorly in Ogun State. Though I have some in Lagos. Like I have um, Yemi Gary plant in Ijebu Igbo. I have Envoy Global Foods in Owode Ijebu. Then I have Lo Roberto Global Process Limited here in the Solo Lagos State. Then Shamel International Feeds that they produce animal feeds here in Alimosho, Lagos State. Then I have the Thai Farm International Processing in Apapa, Lagos. So these are some of those uh, people are actually be dealing with in terms of the sales. And um, for the first phase, I'm actually going to cultivate five hectares of land, which everything being equal, I'm going to get 100 tons of cassava from the five hectares. 100 tons. 100 tons. 100 tons. 100 tons. 100 tons. Yeah. From, yes, from the five hectares. And then um, 60 tons will be sold as fresh cassava, while 30 will be processed into gary. And I've left 10% as loss that can occur during the transit, harvesting, and the likes. So 10% have allowed us the loss. And um, that accounted for 90 tons. Yes, 90 tons. 90 tons. The 60 tons will be for fresh cassava that will be sold. 30 tons will be processed. Then 10 tons is what I've as the loss, which is 10%. Which is 10%. In all, we'll only be selling 60 plus 30 for the products, which will be 90 tons. So what I have there is total yield less 10%. That's what I have in the proposal there. And uh, yes, I'm actually looking at 5.2 million. The initial cost of the land and the machineries takes the larger part of the cost. I mean, from my projection, the first two phases, by the time I'm going into the second phase, which will be at the, after, at the end of the five years, the third year I'll be going into the second phase. So at the end of the, the fifth year, from my projection here, at least the farm should have made up to 7.5 million. At the end of the fifth year. Yes. The farm would have made up to 7.5 million error from my 
break down my paper here. The document before you. Yes. Oh, maybe I left it out in. I think I have um, the question under page five. Uh, breakdown of uh, the major cost. Salaries four and seventeen thousand. For how for how long a year? Yeah, that is actually a production circle. Which is, is it, which, which is, is uh, a year. A year. So, and for how many staff? I'm um, starting with um, 10. 10 staff? 10. So, how do you intend to share this one, 117,000? Yes. 117,000 error. Yes, the 117,000 error. Mm. If we go to page, I think that should be the last page there. Okay. I have salaries 46,000 there, which is for the staff. Then there are uh, ad hoc staffs that only need them when I'm to plant or to weed. The money those ones are going to pay, I mean, I'm going to pay them, added to this 46,000 is what gave me the 117,000 there. Hey, my query is uh, how many people will get 46,000? The 46,000 era is just for the 10, 10 staffs. Is it 4,600 per staff? Between 4,000 and 5,000. Okay, that, that is what they are paying. Oh. Yes, around that yeah. end there, yeah, yes. And for a month? No, no, no. Monthly, it's monthly. It's monthly. It's monthly. That is, if it is a year, it's going to be that strength. Mm -hmm. He has done some analysis at the last page that shows per month is 46. 46, Which yes. Each worker will go on 4,600. 600, yes. That's that month. Yeah. Yes, at that for end, that's that what they they pay at that hand today. Okay. Yeah. When it comes to wedding, you have a wedding. Yes, those ones are just temporary. I'll pay them 1,000 Naira per day. But once they come for wedding, after the wedding, they collect 1,000 Naira. I think I did the analysis there. I did the analysis there. I did the analysis there. Uh, this place is actually, I'm from this place. That's my hometown. I have my family members around there. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. We appreciate your idea. Inshallah, we're going to get back to it. All right. Thank you. Yes, to cure our greed, when we give our money to those in need. Sighs for salamun alaykum. Peace be with you, wa alaykum as Shies for Shams, the shining sun, which Allah placed for everyone. And sighs for Salah, for when we pray, facing Him, every day facing Him, till we meet our Lord. Allah. There's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger, Allah, la ilaha illallah. On the table here, my name is Abraza Kagwala. Oh, yes, sir. With me, Dr. Lukman Abdurrahim and uh, the Mr. Ayola Abdurrahim. Thank you, sir. Yeah, can you introduce yourself to us and then let's have uh, what you have for us. Okay. My name is Suli Habib Ogrima. A graduate of architecture from Federal University of Technology, Mina, Niger State. I'm here this evening to present the summary and report, report and recommendation of my business proposal, which is uh, the uh, stone dust block molding under the name of Modern Shelter Multi Global Services. That's my business name, which I have already registered. The project is uh, my own idea, which I have started right from my school days, because I have been in the industry for a while. I had an ND in 2009, and after that, where I did my IT, I was opportune to be on site, where I supervised block molding works. So I have had the experience from there, and since that, I have been nurturing that experience till I graduated. 
for the proposal we require a startup capital of two million naira, and uh, which is divided into fixed asset and uh, startup uh, the working capital. The fixed asset is about the fixed asset is about one point four million naira, and the working capital is about six hundred thousand naira, according to my calculations. The vision of the of the enterprise is to be the most outstanding block industry in Nigeria. We want to be a household name, just like we have Dangote when he talks about cement production in Nigeria. That is my vision, sir. And the, like I have said before, the entrepreneurial skill I've acquired during my IT and some right now I'm still into the business. I have been into the business since I finished my NYC. My one of my design was approved for construction when I was still doing, when I was still doing my youth service in, in uh, Ogo State here. So, which is a construction of a, a filling station for always petroleum. It's in local, it, there's a new filling station in Lokoja now. It's called always filling station. I was the one that designed it and I supervised the construction. So I used that opportunity to supply this type of block to them and. I also supervise the molding of that block because we need standard for the construction. It's a story building, so standard is highly required. After that, right now, I have another construction ongoing which I supervise. It's also my personal project. It's a residential building. It's ongoing now. So I also supply blocks for the construction. Okay, where are people that use uh, some of those? Uh we have estate developers patronize stone dust uh, block molding, especially when they have to do with story buildings, where the strength is highly required. Strength of the uh, strength and stability is highly required. So you need stone dust block. Some people call it concrete block because of the strength. Have you, and, have you been involved in the process before? Uh, yes, sir. Like I have said, the one we use for the construction of the filling station, I supervised the production. The all the production line, I should have to look into it so that the standard is. Why we talk about stone dust block? Yes. You know, it's not common like the ordinary. Yes. And the market is not there like the ordinary. Do you believe that first? No. It's used for a special project. Do you it, understand? It's that? not that special to uh, per se. It's what you need. No, the no, difference? let's go to the local market. Okay. You know, or let me, let me use the, who yeah. is your target client? Yes, my, my target are those that value, uh, that, that, that need value for their money. Personally, the, like how many do you have? So for now, I've supplied two, uh, two construction work. I've supplied, the, the one I supervise, I have supplied to them and they like the work. The, 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 Supply to them. Okay, for the construction of the finish station, I supply up to five thousand blocks because that is what we use throughout. For the project ongoing now, we just finished the the after the foundation of the main building, we just finished the boys' quarter now and have supplied up to seven hundred and fifty for that. We're talking about plot, yes. we deal with new sites. For example, in very let me pick for example here, you cannot have like you have in the site. Yes. And let me just ask, a few months ago, or let me say three months ago, how is your sales like? The one you are doing, because you said you are still in it, you are doing it, you are, yes. what is the sales like? Three months ago. Three months, three months ago, I was only supplying to the site I was supervising because I don't have much time to do my, my marketing. So, but because then I was still, in, so I finished uh, uh, in May, I finished service in May. So it was tedious for me to be doing marketing at the same time. But now that I'm fully in the business now, I have been expanding my supply to others apart from the work I supervise. Well, the cost of the price you put there, diesel engine, yes, the modern sir. block. Yes, Certainly sir. the modern block, the price you give is a little bit... Uh, the modern Yes. The drilling bowl. Yeah, it's six hundred. Why are you getting all the expenses? I ha I had I, I have the I have the invoice for all what I caught there, sir. And they are very recent. Yes. 
have the invoice. I went to the uh, people that mo uh, construct the things directly. Yes. But your, I revenue, didn't go through your revenue analysis did not show where you were going. Yes. Sir? Your revenue analysis yes, sir. did not show yes, where you were going. Here, okay. just quote 170 and the 500 per week. Yes, the analysis sir. per month, per quarter, per year. I have, I have a detailed business plan that I wrote on my own, sir. Yeah, due to the, limit. due to the limit given there that. Uh, this, is, this is what. Once you type, it will give you space. No, they that say line. not more than one hundred and fifty words. And that is what. Not table. Not table. You put table here now. You put a table. Yes. A table yes, is a table. table. Here. And you can see that you have space below because you press uh, enter. It gave you more space. This is a uh, table. I have a detailed one that I wrote on the answer. You know, that, uh, then you read the wages you put here. Uh, yes, sir. How many months? Is it one month? Is it's, it's, month? it's monthly, sir. It's monthly. It's monthly. Four. That's one right. Like presently, you know, liberal do charge on part of the event. Uh, where in local, I don't know about here, in local that we charge per block. Per block? Yes. Uh, what is the price? Between 20 to 25 now. Per block. Per block, yes. That's what they charge. So, all those involved in the production, we now know how to share themselves. I don't share if it. I ask you practically now, how many blocks will you make in a day to break it? I'm for 2 million. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like I, I wrote there, with 500 blocks daily. How many? What 500 blocks you're talking about is how many bags? Okay, we per bag. Many pe most people produce like thirty-five to forty okay. per bag. So we we I intend to have between thirty and thirty-two. I'm going bag. to break even with that. Yes, based on my calculations, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Get, get back to you. Thank you. So Spend out of whatever good you have. This is Allah's injunction. Zakat and Sadako Foundation is inviting our dear Muslim brothers and sisters to put succor and smiles on the faces of the less privileged ones by donating your fairly used or new items such as clothes, shoes, bags, wristwatches, home appliances, and other valuable to Zakat and Sadako Foundation for onward distributions of these items to the poor and needies across the country. In Faku this is the platform for implementing this noble cause aims at catering for the needs of the less privileged ones and seeking the last pleasure and reward on the rich who champions this cause donate your fairly used items to Zakat and Sadako Foundation today at Zakat House number 12 on Laji District off Itire Road Ishaga Close Bus Stop Mission Lagos for more information call Lukman on 0805 567 8355 or 0803 Three three one seven nine seven seven. You can also log on on www.zakatandsadako.org.ng. Zakat and Sadako Foundation, caring, creating social economic balance. Alhamdulillah, these two presenters mark the hand of the first set of winners of our business plan competition under the idea track. I want to thank you especially our donors, our Sakat and Sarah Kopia. This is how we have been discussing the Sarah giving to us to rightful beneficiary with the hope of developing their skills and business so that they can be worthy youth in our environment. Until next week, when we'll be listening to another interesting episode, I remain yours sincerely. I am Suleiman Olagunju. The executive director for the foundation. Salam alaikum to Zais for Zakah to cure our greed. When we give our money to those in need. Zais for Salam alaikum. Peace be with you. Wa alaikum salam. Shais for Shams, the shining sun, which Allah placed for everyone. And Zais for Salah, for when we pray. Facing him every day, facing him till we meet our Lord. Allah. 
There's only one God and Muhammad is his messenger Allah La ilaha illallah Ties for Tariq, a path to walk upon And the is for Dhil, a shadow And A is for Ilm, the thing to know To make our knowledge grow in Islam Rise for Ghaib, a world unseen, and that we know is not a dream. And Fa is for the opening, Al-Fatiha. And Qa for the Qur'an, the book of God. And Ka is for Kalima, a word we're taught, to teach us what is good and what is not.